do subscribe to Ikeda channel and press bell icon to get updates about latest engineering, HSE and IIT JE main and advanced videos. Hello students, today we are studying chapter human health and diseases. In that, we are studying topic diagnosis and treatment for AIDS. AIDS is acquired immunodeficiency syndrome. What would be the diagnosis and treatment methods of AIDS? Let's study and find out about it. Whenever an individual acquires AIDS condition, an HIV virus, which is human immunodeficiency virus, gain entry inside the individual's body. And we all know that HIV has its genetic material RNA and due to the presence of an enzyme which is reverse transcriptase, it converts the single-stranded RNA into double-stranded DNA inside human host and then replicates, produces its own machinery and finally in the process it destroys all the immune cells of the host. When I talk about the immune cells of the host, I mean it destroys the T lymphocytes, the B lymphocytes, T helper cells, WBCs, neutrophiles, basophils, eosinophils, all of them. And the common symptoms of AIDS could be Kaposi sarcoma, that is presence of red, full-blown patches on the backside of your body. Next would be Vasting syndrome, that is decrease in at least 10% of the body weight. Some deadly diseases like tuberculosis, pneumonia could also be accompanied with AIDS. And once an individual has full-blown AIDS, it needs to get treated immediately. If that doesn't happen, there are high chances that the individual will eventually die not because of HIV virus but because of other deadly diseases. It's a common saying or it's a common preline that an AIDS patient never dies of AIDS virus. It always dies of the secondary infection that one invites or one gets due to AIDS virus gaining inside your body. We all know that HIV reduces the immune system of your body to very drastic levels and Due to this, you get prone to every small disease that you come around, even a small cough and cold, yellow fever, normal dysentery or diarrhea could be lethal or dangerous for this individuals who have acquired HIV. There are two types of tests available for HIV. The normal test or the CBC which all of us do and the other kind of test that is available is one is ELISA which is a preliminary test and another one is the Western blot, the confirmatory test. Diagnosis and treatments for AIDS or you can say acquired immunodeficiency syndrome. Now we all know that HIV is the virus that an individual gets when somebody acquires this deadly disease AIDS or deadly condition AIDS. The preliminary test for AIDS could be a normal CBC count or complete blood cell count which will show uh, increase in your fighter cells. Now students, we all know that if there is an infection in your body, obviously your fighter cells or your fighting machinery is going to increase. So your WBC count in AIDS is going to change rapidly. The two blood tests that ensure accuracy in the diagnosis of AIDS virus are first one is ELISA. Now ELISA is enzyme link immunosorbent assay. This is nothing but a test that includes different or 12 set of test tubes along with certain chemical reagents and a blood sample from an AIDS patient. If the AIDS patient has got HIV virus in their blood, obviously its antibodies would be produced and ELISA test basically tries to detect the antibodies present in the blood sample of the patient. Now ELISA could be 
positive even if you have got typhoid typhoid uses elisa at is one of its diagnostic test so elisa can give you false positive or false negative results uh, if i have to tell you all simply you might not have aids and you have typhoid still elisa can show you a positive result which is false positive so just to make sure that an individual has got aids a test named as western blot test or western blot assay is done now western blot assay or western blot test is basically a confirmatory test for hiv if a western blot of an individual is true or you can say this positive then we can confirm and say that the individual has acquired hiv virus or there are hiv antibodies present inside that individual this H, whether you talk about western blot test or whether you talk about elisa test both the tests are used after some window period of time example elisa is done before and and after a certain period of time western blot is done which is a confirmatory test for aids this both tests help in detection of hiv antibodies obviously if hiv virus has not gained entry inside your body there are no chances that you as a healthy individual will produce hiv antibodies it is only that hiv has gained entry in the body you will produce hiv antibodies some clinical signs that are observed in blood test of an hiv patient would be that their cd4 and cd8 count has decreased in their body now when i talk about cd4 and cd8 these are the cells of immune body or immune system which are associated with t c cells and t helper cells t c cell are cytotoxic t cells whereas t h cells are helper t cells now both of them are associated with cd4 and cd8 and their increase in body is truly and purely indicated as the entry of hiv in your body apart from that the wbc or the white blood count may vary for example a healthy individual will have their wbc count at a optimum range but if you are prone to an infection in your body then wbc count will obviously increase if there is a army on your land obviously the soldiers are going to increase their count similarly when hiv gains entry there is a vary in wbc count also kaposi sarcoma that is red brown big patches all over your body especially at your back are a common sign or symptom which could be infested due to hiv virus gaining entry in your body apart from that wasting syndrome wasting syndrome could be associated with increase or decrease of your weight of your body and lastly cns infection that is central nervous system or brain infection so students in this part of the chapter what we did study was that how hiv or aids could be diagnosed and what are the preliminary tests and what are the confirmatory tests western blot is the confirmatory test and elisa is the preliminary or starting test students i hope you are clear with this concept thank you